Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the list variables in Robot Framework. So in the last tutorial, we had looked at the scalar variables in Robot Framework and we have seen that scalar variable can hold a single value. However, in case of list variable, the list variables can hold multiple values. For example, if you have the username and password or you want to use different username and different passwords for doing the testing which in many scenarios you will be doing in the actual projects in those sort of scenarios it becomes really easy to use the list variables wherever you have to store multiple values now the syntax for the list variable is pretty similar to the scalar variable so in the scalar variable the syntax was starting with dollar and two curly braces and the name of the variable uh, in the case of list variable you just need to replace this dollar sign with the add the rate sign okay and then the rest remains same so name of the variable so for example in the case of search text we can simply say search um, text i'll provide the same name i'll comment the scalar variable for now and then you can simply just say space equal to sign and then two spaces uh, or you can simply say two spaces or tab whichever suits sorry let me um yeah so tab whichever you're convenient with and then you can provide the values so for example the first value okay and then two spaces the second value and then again two spaces another value and another two spaces and we can provide another value so we can say just get so now you can see in this list variable it can hold multiple values here right so for example this is how you will be setting the values in the scalar uh, in the list variable now how you can access or retrieve the values so for example i want to retrieve the second value from this list variable search text so as in case of the scalar variable to act to retrieve the value you just need to provide dollar sign curly braces and the name of the variable in case of list variable you just need to provide the list variable at the rate search text and then you have to provide the index so you can relate the list variable similar to the arrays in other programming languages so you need to provide the index of the value that you want to retrieve and as you can as you know that the array starts with the index zero so the first value to retrieve the first value which is books you need to provide the index as zero and the second value is one the third one is two and the fourth one is three so for example i'm looking for um, the travel so I'll just change this search text index to one and now this travel value will be retrieved. Now let me remove this section here because this is just a dummy example that I used in the previous tutorial. So let me remove this keyword and the next thing is on the search results page, right? So in the search results page, we again need to replace the search text with the list variable and the index that we are looking for so it will look for the results for whatever search text will be passing right so now what will happen in the test case if you go and see it will input the search text from the list variable that we have defined in the header page right so this is the list variable it will pick the second value which is travel and then it will verify it will uh, find the results search results and then verify the search results that it contains results for whatever text search text we are passing all right so pretty simple test now let's try to execute and see the results so in the terminal i'll just execute this particular test and we'll launch the browser in the browser it should type in travel click on search and you can see the search results 
and the test case got passed. So let me open the report and see the details. So in the report, it will clearly show what test case we had verified. And in the test case detail, if you go to the keyword search results page, it is getting the list variable search text value. And in the search text, if you can see here, it is getting the value as travel. So if I, so typing text, travel into the text field, right? So this is how the list variables are being defined and accessed in your test cases. So other thing to note about the list variable declaration is that you can also use equal to sign. So either you can use the tab. So simply when you press tab, it automatically has two spaces there or you can use the space equal to sign and then two spaces to define or to assign the values to the list variable okay so hope you like the tutorial about the list variable in robot framework thank you very much for watching